No, this is actually not an unexpected event. This is um, really anticipated. The only issue is the specific time and date is never really understood, so we really can't predict earthquakes. But given the continuous process of plate subduction in that part of the world, this is not an un unexpected event. This is one of the, the largest earthquake factories on the planet. It's part of the, the Pacific Rim system where we have a lot of earthquakes in the Southwest Pacific and in the Northern Pacific. And the other area that has large earthquakes would be in the Southeastern Pacific along the West Coast of South America. Well, an earthquake typically generates a large movement of the, the, the seafloor. And it's the actual movement of the seafloor that causes the displacement of the water. And then the water then is that wave that is produced by the movement of the seafloor then propagates across, say, the deep ocean basins. And the waves are usually relatively low amplitude. They have very small heights, really long wavelengths measured in hundreds of kilometers. And the elevation of the wave when it approaches the shore increases because of the water depth. And that's what creates these catastrophic waves is the fact that we have a long wavelength that decreases the amplitude or the height of the wave increases and that causes a huge devastation. The severity of the tsunami is really related to the depth of the water. And now for the, the fact that we had a large tsunami in northwest, northeastern Japan was due to the fact that one, you have relatively shallow water and the big problem there, of course, is that you have very little time to react because the wave generated just a few kilometers off coast and so it arrived on the shoreline in a very short period of time. So it's primarily magnitude of the wave that's generated, how long it takes to get across, say, an open stretch of water, and the depth of water that creates the size of the uh, tsunami itself. It's just like looking at a breaking wave at the edge of the ocean or even in a lake. You see the waves, they come in, they, they build up as they approach shallow water, and then they, they run up on the shoreline to a certain distance that's dependent upon the height and the amount of energy that's in the wave. The Department of Geosciences at UTD has been focusing on computational geoscience with an, an emphasis on tectonic processes. In other words, we're really interested in how the surface of the Earth deforms and changes as a function of time. And these types of, of um, phenomena are exactly the type of things that we're particularly interested in. So we've focused the emphasis here, uh, unlike a lot of institutions, to focus on these tectonic processes.